Kling AI Image to Video Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get started with Kling AI, which is an advanced, next-generation platform designed for creating stunning AI-generated images with ease. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. To begin, the first thing you need to do is open up your preferred web browser and head over to the official Kling AI website. You can do this by typing klingai.com into the address bar and pressing Enter. Go ahead and click on that button to move forward. After you click Create, the system will redirect you to the Kling AI application interface. This is where you can start the process of setting up your account, so you can begin exploring all of the powerful image generation tools Kling AI has to offer. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice an option that says Sign In. Click on Sign In to bring up the Login and Registration menu. Here, you can either choose to sign up using your email address, or if you prefer a quicker method, you can sign in directly using your Google or Apple account credentials. This choice really depends on your personal preference and whichever option you find more convenient. Once your registration has been successfully completed, Kling AI will automatically credit your new account with some free credits that you can use to start generating images right away. Specifically, you should see a balance of 166 credits, along with a limited number of trial uses for some of the platform's advanced features. It's also important to note that these credits will refresh on a monthly basis, meaning that every month you log back into your account and complete your check-ins, you'll receive a fresh batch of credits to continue experimenting and creating new images. This makes it easy to keep using the service without immediately needing to purchase additional credits. And that's all there is to it. You've now completed the initial setup and are ready to start exploring Kling AI's tools to create impressive AI-generated artwork. In the next part of the video, I'll show you how to generate your first image and customize it to match your creative vision. Now, after you've completed the sign-up process, you may notice that a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to fill out some basic profile information. This step typically asks for details like your display name or preferences. Moving forward, let's get into the exciting part, which is actually working with Kling AI to create images and turn them into videos. When you look over at the menu on the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see several different navigation options that will help you explore and manage your projects. The first tab is the home page, which acts as your main dashboard where you can access your most recent activity and updates from the Kling AI team. Next, you have the Explore page. This section is particularly useful because it allows you to browse and discover the work that other users are creating on the platform. It's a great place to find inspiration and see examples of how others are leveraging Kling AI's tools. Below that is the Assets page. This area functions as your personal library, where you can upload your own images and also view any content you have already generated within your account. It keeps everything organized so you can easily access your projects whenever you need them. After the Assets tab, you'll notice the AI Templates section. This area provides you with a collection of ready-made templates that you can use as a starting point. These templates often follow popular trends or styles that are currently in demand, which makes it much easier to quickly produce content that feels fresh and relevant. Finally, you'll see the main sections dedicated to AI generation, where you have the tools for creating both images and videos. To get started with image generation, you can click on the image option. Here, you'll notice a couple of different methods for creating your visuals. One option is text to image, which allows you to type a descriptive prompt and let Kling AI generate a brand new image based entirely on your words. Alternatively, you also have the option to upload an existing image that you can use as a base or reference. This means you can start with a photo or illustration you already have and guide Kling AI to enhance or transform it. Within this workflow, you'll see options for setting an initial reference image, adjusting the style, and fine-tuning the output to suit your needs. But right below the image generation tools, you'll find the video section, which is where the real magic happens if you want to transform still images into dynamic video content. When you enter the video area, you might see a short informational overlay. 
you can click I got it to acknowledge and dismiss this tip before you continue. In this part of the interface, you'll see settings for frames and elements. Within elements, you have the ability to upload anywhere between one and four images. This feature is currently available specifically within the 1.6 model, which offers improved motion and detail in the generated videos. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a short video sequence. You'll also notice that Kling AI provides helpful tips and hints right on the screen to guide you through the process. One of the things you can do is select which of your uploaded images will be shown first and which will appear last. This allows you to control the sequence of your video. For example, I'm going to start by choosing an image depicting a volcano eruption. I'd like the video to begin with a dramatic explosion and then transition into a scene where the molten lava is flowing down the volcano's slope. To make this adjustment, I'll simply switch the order of the images so that the eruption comes first, followed by the molten lava scene. Below the image selection area, you'll see a field for entering a text-based prompt. You might be wondering why you'd need a text prompt if you're already providing images. Well, this prompt actually lets you specify how you'd like the video to look overall. You can describe the mood, style, camera movement, or any additional details you want Kling AI to include as it generates the video. This combination of uploading your own images and guiding the output with text prompts gives you a lot of creative control and flexibility to produce videos that align perfectly with your vision. In the next steps, we'll look at how to fine tune your prompts and adjust the advanced settings to get the most out of your video generation. So once you've reached this stage, you'll notice that Kling AI conveniently provides a preset prompt to help you get started right away. If you'd like to explore more ideas or need inspiration, you can click into the inspiration or preset sections. These areas contain a large prompt dictionary full of sample prompts you can use as a reference or starting point for your own project. This is actually one of my favorite things about Kling AI. Unlike many other AI tools on the market, it offers an extensive library of built-in prompts, inspirations, and examples. This makes it much easier to create professional results, even if you're new to AI video generation. For example, if you want to adjust how the camera behaves during your video, you have options to make it rotate around the object, zoom in, zoom out, or perform a combination of movements. In my case, I don't want the camera to zoom in. Instead, I'd like it to slowly rotate around the volcano as it erupts, capturing the dramatic moment from every angle as fire and lava burst from the crater. Right below the prompt settings, you'll see the motion brush feature. This is available exclusively in the 1.6 version of Kling AI. The motion brush lets you highlight specific areas within your images to emphasize movement and create a more dynamic video effect. You'll also find the negative prompt field, this is a really powerful tool if you want to avoid certain types of visuals or styles. For example, if you don't want the video to include computer-generated effects, wrapped designs, or abstract illustrations, you can simply list those terms in the negative prompt box. Kling AI will automatically filter them out and exclude those elements from your final result. Anything you enter here will not be part of the generated video or image. Moving down further, you'll see the option to select the duration of your clip. At this time, you can choose to create either a 5-second or a 10-second video. Pick whichever length fits your project best. After you choose the duration, you can specify how many different output variations you want Kling AI to generate. Then, you'll come to the Creativity and Relevance sliders. This is where you essentially set the temperature of your project. If you want Kling AI to stay very close to your original description and images, you can slide the relevance higher. If you prefer the AI to interpret your prompt more freely and introduce new ideas, you can increase the creativity level. When you're happy with all your settings, just click Generate. You'll see that using the 1.6 model costs 35 credits, so keep an eye on your balance. At this point, Kling AI will begin processing your request. The generation time can vary depending on several factors, such as the complexity of your prompt, the quality of your images, and whether you selected a longer video duration. Usually, it takes anywhere between one to five minutes. Sometimes the video is ready in under a minute, 
but for more detailed or advanced projects, expect to wait a few extra minutes. Once it's ready, you'll see a preview appear on your screen. Let's scroll ahead to check out the result. As you can see, the video starts with the eruption of the volcano, and then it transitions smoothly into the second frame, where the molten lava is flowing down the mountainside. We used the Kling 1.6 model in professional mode, and the prompt we provided shaped exactly how this scene came together. Below your video preview, you'll find additional options. For example, you can click Extend if you'd like to continue the animation and build a new scene that picks up right where this one leaves off. If you're satisfied with how everything looks, you can click the Like button to save it to your favorites, or you can choose to share it. When it comes to downloading, you have two choices. You can download the video with a watermark, which is included in the free version. If you'd like to remove the watermark for a polished, professional final product, you'll need to upgrade to a paid subscription plan. Once your video is saved, you can mark it as a favorite so you can easily find it again later. Another powerful feature Kling AI offers is multi-element editing. This allows you to combine several elements, such as images, stickers, or other assets, into a single video or image. You can drag and drop elements, reposition them, and swap them out depending on your project. This flexibility helps ensure that all the pieces of your video look cohesive and well integrated, even if you're using different types of media. You also have the option to add lip sync animation and incorporate AI generated sounds. By clicking AI sound, you'll get access to a variety of sound options you can add to your project. Kling AI even provides a sound prompt, which is automatically tailored to fit the content you've created. You can either use this recommended prompt or generate a new sound specifically for your video. And that's how you can take a still image and transform it into a captivating video using Kling AI's image to video tools. If you'd like to start another project, you can head back to the video generation section, click image to video again, and remove your previous images. I'll scroll down and enter a prompt describing what I want to happen in the video. In this case, I'll ask Kling AI to animate the model swatching the eyeshadow on her finger. Then I'll choose the mode I'd like to use, standard or professional, the clip duration, the output count, and the level of creativity. For this demonstration, I'll pick the standard version, which costs 20 credits instead of 35. If you'd like, you can drag and drop additional elements, but for this example, I'm gonna keep it simple and proceed with just the single image. If you were scrolling through Instagram or YouTube, you'd probably never guess that this was an AI-generated video. So that's it. You can create stunning, professional-looking videos from images in just a few steps. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel so you won't miss future guides. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think and help you out.